All right, people, this is Darth Vader Z from AcidPlanet.com presenting to you simple music for simple people. Uh, this is actually something I've been working on for a little while. I'm going to speak really fast right here because I really didn't put time in for this intro. Um, but I'm actually wanted to do some videos to help people out that didn't understand a little bit of, about Acid Planet and Acid Pro and other related softwares. Um, now, we have a question that has been presented on the AcidPlanet.com forums. As soon as my video will hurry up and click on this damn, there we go. Uh, this is by Rise Automation, and he's asking, how do we use input monitoring on Acid Pro 7.0? Now, that's a very good question, because Acid Pro 7 makes it a little bit more difficult than Acid Pro 6 uh, and earlier generations. So let's go ahead and go over here to 7. And you'll notice I have the screen pulled up here, and I've got my music library nicely all organized right there. And we've got our buses over here on the bottom right-hand corner, if you have it set up like I do. Unless you've swapped it all around like some European fuck. Um, now, I'm just kidding, guys. As I'm continuing to jack with the buses here and show it off, I was talking while I was recording the video, but the audio wasn't playing, so I'm overdubbing with SoundForge. Cool shit, huh? Um, yes, I'm going through my eight packs, showing them off, as I have so many of them saved which is only like a quarter of them that I have. Um, -da -da -da. Okay, now we get over to the good part. Now to add this, what we're going to do is we need to add an input bus. And we pop that in there, so you're going to come up there between your preview and your master bus. And what the hell is that? Okay, we're still good. Alright, and we're going to go here to arm record. And your record track is going to come up as well. And you're going to see that the bouncing meter is responding to our recording. And that's all wonderful, fine, and dandy as we're sitting here talking about it. And yes, I'm moving the mouse around because we're free armed to record right there. Now, on the input bus, you're going to notice that these channels are turned off here. Now, Rise, this is where you need to pay attention. You're going to go ahead and select that Microsoft Sound Mapper as your input, as your key input method. The Microsoft Sound Mapper actually is what routes your sound card and your uh, microphone through the sound card. So that's going to go ahead and want to be turned on there. Uh, you can mess with the effects and insert effects and the fader and all that kind of ridiculous stuff later. The part you want to pay attention to is this part right here. This is what you want to know about. On the right hand side here is the output monitor. And go ahead and just put, pick the master master of the Microsoft Sound, Auto, or Microsoft Sound Mapper. And you're going to see that the master channel is now responsive as well on our decibel meters over here. And while wearing headphones, you will hear audio now coming through them. If you have cheap laptop speakers like mine does, I know the Asus's are a little better, um, but you're not going to hear as much. So you're going to need some good headphones, probably a silent room, um, a vocal booth if you've got one, if that's what you're doing. <coughs> but that's where that's what you're going to want to be at and what you're going to want to see to make sure you're getting your monitor out of here. Um, we're going to condense this back down a little bit. We have access to our samples and our now our buses here that we can see that are lively and good and hoppy. Um, there is another way to find this information other than watching the video. We're going to go up here to help, go to contents and index. And you're going to see that I already have searched it once. We're going to go ahead and type in input monitor. Ticket, 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 ticket. All right. And um, page two has a little bit of good information, or the, the second one that's going to pop up here. Uh, the one you're going to want to pay the most attention to, however, is going to be the next one down. Um, it's going to explain to you how to insert the buses, um, affecting them, using them more effectively, and, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that I'm probably never going to have to worry about because I don't do vocals very often, or nor do I record a lot of live stuff. And if I do, I use a mic by an amp instead of hopping it into a computer because I don't have a damn thing. I have a little MIDI cable for a keyboard, but that's it. All right, well, this has been Simple Music for Simple People, and uh, now that the screen's gone black, uh, I'm still going to be talking. But uh, thanks for watching. This is kind of a trial episode again. I, hey, I'm still working on some other episodes for this stuff, um, but we'll be posting some stuff here shortly. So stay tuned, guys, and rock on AP.